Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. On this President's Day, we're kicking off a series of programs featuring the presidents of colleges and universities around Vermont. First up is the president of the newly formed Vermont State University. This coming July, Castleton University, Northern Vermont University, both Linden and Johnson, and Vermont Technical College will become a single accredited institution called Vermont State University, or VTSU. The new VTSU president is bullish about the success of the merger. He spent 25 years in higher education, most recently a special assistant to the president at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, which also created was created out of a merger. And to learn more about his vision and plan for VTSU, I am pleased to welcome President Pow Parwinder Graywall. Good afternoon and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Fran. So Vermont State University is the first statewide university hybrid institution in the country. What does hybrid mean in this context and how will it work? Yeah, Fran, um, hybrid university means that it will enhance access to higher education to students that normally do not have access if you only have a residential campus. So hybrid university would bring our programs, our courses to students wherever they are. So students on any of our campuses would be able to access our faculty's work, our courses, our degree programs from another campus. And they could also join our classes from home or all those working professionals that are also pursuing uh, their higher education degree programs, they can also access our programs. This will increase affordability because every student would not have to live on campus. It will also enhance access and increase student outcomes as we build this first statewide hybrid university. Terrific, and you, you pre presided over a merger of several colleges in, in Texas in your last job. How did that go, and what knowledge do you bring to this merger? Yeah, so in Texas, we created this new university called University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. That university brought together two universities, University of Texas Pan American and University of Texas Brownsville, and it also added the Harlingen Health Science Center in it. By combining three institutions, we were able to create this brand new thriving university that now aspires to be a research one university. Not only we brought this university together, but our, because of the combined university resources and people coming together, the state support, we were able to increase our enrollment from about 25,000 students to 32,000 students in five years. We also added a school of medicine mm. and that school of medicine was in the makings for previous 85 years. It is only because these two competing universities came together, the school, medical school became a reality. And that those are some of the success aspects of that. We added also many other undergraduate and graduate programs. We enhanced the university's community engagement. We also enhanced or established workforce development office at the university to help the state in their workforce development efforts. Great. I bring the same kind of experiences here and these experiences will help us bring the three different institutions that will be part of Vermont State University and it will also be a multi-campus university where we'll have residential um, students on each one of those uh, five campuses and also students joining at 17 or so, the sites that we run where we offer our nursing programs and other programs. Uh, so therefore, all of these, uh, all of this will enhance opportunities uh, for our students in Vermont and beyond. Okay, so clearly you have lots of experience with this. And as the merger here is played out, 
Now, some Vermonters and alumni of these colleges have expressed concern. Um, it's been rough over the last couple of years, and there's been some recent anger over the announcement that five campus libraries will be moving to an all-digital format. You know, aren't physical libraries central to the mission of a, and culture of a college? Um, how, how, can you, how can you help people explain your decision here? Yeah, so we have to make uh, several tough decisions. As you know, over the last two years, this project actually has been set up as a transformation project. So through that, many different interdisciplinary teams have been working on different aspects of the university, envisioning different programs, different processes, how the new university will function. So this is one of the decisions that we announced a few days ago, that is our library becoming a digital library. That means that our students and our faculty would be able to have access to the information electronically 24 seven throughout the year so that there is no delay and it will increase equity across um, all types of students that we serve. We serve residential students who could actually walk to a physical library, but we also have fully online students that take classes that are not even in our state. They are all over other stated states, mm -hmm. including Alaska. And then we have commuter students. Then we have students who uh, access the university programs from our small learning sites where we do not have physical libraries. So moving forward, we will have this digital uh, library, but in addition, we will also keep the essential physical material that would include books and also other materials that is a discipline specific. You know, some disciplines absolutely require books, require other materials. Mm -hmm. Those we will keep and we will house, house them where those programs are uh, in particular departments. So library is not going away. It is going to stay. It is, we are modernizing the library. In fact, those buildings that we have lots of books right now, we would be adding in additional student services so that those places become more learning spaces for the students, collaborative work, teamwork, and continue to be able to print and use computers. And there will be librarian on each campus that will be still there to help both faculty and students to do their work. So it is just with the time, as the time is changing, students' needs are changing, we are adapting and evolving uh, to build our library. So with all of these campuses, how do you envision VTSU really working as, as a unit? Yeah, so <clears throat> library is one good example. So this would be a you know centralized library that will serve all our university campuses. And the same way, all our student services would be also centralized. They will be, uh, we will be serving students who are accessing our programs online, in person, or, or through from different campuses. And that would be another example. And our administration has also come together. As you can imagine, there will be one president for five different campuses moving forward. We will have every department would be located on more than one campus. And there will be one department chair for that. Similarly, our colleges would spread across most of our campuses and there will be a single dean for, for each campus. So this will reduce our administrative costs, but also enhance the intellectual capacity of the university on all campuses because we will be collaborating across different campuses. Already some benefits of that are evident as recently, our faculty from Vermont Technical College and Castleton University came together to develop a new certificate in 3D technology. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. which is, as you know, 3D printing has become very uh, important part of the society now, not only in manufacturing, but in health sciences, in so many other applications uh, that 3D technology serves. So now students can have access to that kind of program across all our campuses and even some of the programs online. So I'm gonna be jumping ahead now, um, looking, looking toward the future. Um, how, how do you see uh, VTSU really benefiting Vermont and Vermonters now and in the future as you go forward? Yeah, so we, are, we have a unique opportunity. This is, I call it unprecedented opportunity in the nation to transform higher education. We will be establishing this new university as a community engaged university that serves as a catalyst for rural transformation. All our campuses are located in rural areas and our goal is that we will bring our faculty students together with local community leaders who will work together to co-envision solutions to local problems. That will be central component of the university. You may call it the heart of the university. By doing so, we will not only build intellectual capital in rural communities, we will enhance attachment and retention of our students in those communities. That way, the students that will be engaged in this process would be inspired to address local problems, local issues. They may develop their nonprofits over there or new businesses to focus on the problems that uh, our local communities face. So it will be it will become a world-renowned university focused on rural transformation because rural areas are most often left behind. President Graywall, we are all out of time. I thank you so much for joining us today and letting us know a little bit about how VTSU will uh, move forward in the uh, future. Thank you so much for joining us. And here is, for more information, you can go to www.vermontstate.edu. Again, uh, Dr. Graywall, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Fran. It was my pleasure. And thank you for being with us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard, stay well.